parishioners of the Diocese of Brooklyn expressing shock and sadness after learning that a diocesan priest was murdered in his native Columbia. Currents News Michelle Powers is live at the Diocesan Chancery in Windsor Terrace with more. Michelle. Liz, parishioners tell me that Father Dagoberto Noguera served this diocese for nearly 25 years. It wasn't until his health decline that he decided to move back to Colombia. But his ministry didn't end there, and that's why some say it got him killed. The priests or the religious are a very easy target because they don't fight back. Father Dagoberto Noguera couldn't fight back. His knees were bad, his hip was bad. He had some stomach issues. He had cancer. Clutching a photo, Father Kavangal Davy explains how the beloved priest, once a constant in the parish of St. Anthony, St. Alphonsus, spent his last moments on earth. Broke my heart, especially when he was so sick. I went back to Columbia and look what happened to him. This video taken just after his death shows the outside of Father Dagoberto's apartment in Mama Taco neighborhood of Columbia. It's here where the 75-year-old priest of the Diocese of Brooklyn retired. And here, he faced a gruesome death, tied, beaten, his throat slit. Yesterday, all day, I was up so sad because I can't believe that, you know, happened to Father, to Father Dagoberto. Parishioners like Mary Kalan find the details hard to stomach. They say this man helped unite their parish in one of the most diverse neighborhoods in New York City. Father Dagoberto loved coming back to Greenpoint. He was due to even come back in a few weeks. This church was his second home. This is a website the petitioner sent to me. Local news reports Colombian authorities believe the murderers may be a group of Venezuelans who received help from the priest and frequented his home. Just recently, he was seen giving them food. Friends say Father Dagoberto was faithful till his last breath. I think he was praying for the people that killed him. Now, the memorial service is scheduled for March 23rd at 7.30 at St. Anthony's in St. Alphonsus. This investigation is ongoing. Back to you in the studio, Liz. All right, Michelle, thank you so much for that report.